It's that very familiar grey box with a window. And that tells you that this is a WSI truck model. Looking in through the window, you can see the model inside. And just imagine if you were kept stuck in a box, you'd want to be let out. If we turn the box around, the model is described. And it's a Volvo FH4 Globetrotter XL 6x2 twin steer with a Notabone Malo Loader Euro PX2 axle. This is a limited edition model in the colours of the Dutch company Saan. Opening up the box, we can pull out the tray inside. And there's a small booklet with the model. Next, we need to cut the factory tape. So just for a change, we won't use a knife. It's all okay, we can cut the tape to lift the lid, but it really probably is better to use a knife. Now we can proceed to get the model out. It consists of the gooseneck and the trailer deck. And there's also a bag of small parts, and finally out comes the Volvo tractor. Included with the model is this nice booklet which describes the trailer. And it's very good because it covers both the real trailer and the model. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. We will start the assembly with the deck and the deck just hooks over onto the gooseneck. And then we offer up the gooseneck to the Volvo tractor and clunk click does the trick. There's one cable connection to do and it runs from the deck to the gooseneck. And we follow that by adding a couple of blanking plates into the rear module trough. There's a plain one at the front and a decorated one at the rear. And you might find them just a little bit fiddly to install. Next we can add marker boards and two go onto the top of the gooseneck. And these plastic parts easily slot into the preformed holes. Two more marker boards get placed onto the rear module. As usual we start underneath the tractor and as you would expect with a WSI model it is very detailed. There's a coloured gearbox, a nice exhaust and fuel tank and it's interesting that axles 2 and 3 both have the same tyre types. The roof has nice small stub aerials, there are small beacon lights and the San name appears on the headboard. The door mirrors on this Volvo are colour coded and there's some nice decoration at the front. It includes a Convoy Exceptionnel sign, a very nice grille, and there's also a realistic number plate. Looking at the cab door, there appears to be a fleet number, and there are some nice discrete sun graphics. The step has a textured surface, and behind the cab there are the usual coiled lines and a nice textured walking plate. The wheel arches look convincing, and the decoration of the wheels is very good. And looking at the back, there's more high quality detailing, including on the mud flaps. The gooseneck is mainly a metal part and it looks good underneath, and it is certainly solidly made. The trailer deck has got a good looking structure, and you can see the underside of the replica timber deck. And at the rear, the module is also nicely made. The leading edge of the gooseneck has high detail, including wheel chocks, and there's very nice detailed decoration. Moving to the side, there's also a very detailed console. And again, all of the detailed decorations are of a very high quality. At the back, there's a small tank with the Notabom name on it. And very nice textured surfaces. The yellow stripe is intricately applied across the edge of the trailer deck. And the replica deck timbers also have detailing. Moving to the rear module, and it's packed full of detailed graphics. And in this colour scheme, the red wheels stand out. 
Both the surface of the rear module and the inside trough have detailing. And when you get to the back, that high standard continues and it all looks very realistic. Back underneath the Volvo and the rear axle spins freely. And this particular chassis is a twin steer, so we see the linked steering. And it has a reasonable range of movement. Out on the cranes, etc., Alto Schnellweg. And the Volvo moves well enough in a straight line. Let's turn the wheel and set the steering. And it poses well and follows a moderate curve. Of course, we all want to know if it's got a Volvo engine under the cab. And by tilting the cab forward and having a good look, we get our answer. The cab poses well in a tilted position and it shuts with a satisfying clunk. Next, we move on to the trailer and the rear module has some springiness in the rear axles. And there's nicely engineered linked steering. If we set the steering and drive the truck, it all seems to perform realistically. And the trailer also has some additional functionality in that it can be extended. And this allows it to carry significantly longer loads. But if there's only something small you want to carry, there's an opening toolbox to put it in. Of course, for a low loader like this, it's always good to give it a load to carry. And this one looks particularly good if we add on a Fergola paver. This is another high quality limited edition from WSI and it is an attractive looking model in the colours of San. It has flexible functionality which means it can be posed in different ways and it looks particularly good with a suitable load. Overall this model is rated as excellent.